the short show with Mary Jo. Is that descriptive of this? Huh? Well, people told me, people from here telling me that I was here with Run DMC in 90 something. You don't, you don't recall? I don't remember that. <laughs> you guys did a lot of touring though, so we is did. that kind of a blur? <laughs> yes, yep, exactly. Okay, well obviously most people would know you from Run DMC. But you, music. Yes, uh, but you have something else going on here. I did not know that you made comic books. How yes. long have you been doing this? Well, I, put, I started the comic book imprint three years ago, but before music, all I did was read, collect, and draw comic books. I went to Catholic school. I was a straight A student, always on the honor roll, five and six stars on the forehead. But when I wasn't in the school, when I was home or sometimes in school, all I did was read and draw comic books. On right? King of Rock, I said, crash through walls, come through floors, bust through ceilings and knock down doors. Rappers don't do that, superheroes do that. DC was cool, but Gotham and Metropolis was fictional. Yeah. Marvel Comics had the superheroes running around New York City. Right. So you saw the Lower East Side. You so saw you're a Marvel Hell's boy. Kitchen. Yes, because I'm from Queens and Spider-Man, Peter Parker is from Queens. But comic books also taught me as a young kid to define yourself with an adjective and then tell the world who you are. For instance, the amazing Spider-Man, right. the incredible Hulk, the invincible Iron Man. So when I started doing a hip hop thing, I became the devastating, mic controlling DMC. That's so Those awesome. are the initials of my name, D from Daryl, MC from McDaniels. But I could make that mean anything in the world. Right. And when I got into hip hop, I realized that you was able to tell stories, just like in the comic books. Yeah. So when I got into hip hop, I said, I'm going to become the most powerful entity in the hip hop universe. So I and you did. King of rock, yes. Now you said that hip hop changed your life. Yes. A lot of people might argue that you guys changed hip hop. Um, what do you think that the evolution of hip hop has been like since when you guys got started compared to where it is today? Well, um, right now, we're, uh, today is missing the creativity, the innovation, and the imagination. But more importantly, it's missing all the positive messages. Wycliffe said, Wycliffe from the Fugees, said DMC is one of the only MCs that could talk about Christmas time, St. John's University, and chicken and collard greens, and make it gangster. I rapped about school. I'm D DMC in the place to be, I go to St. John's University. Since kindergarten I acquired the knowledge, after 12th grade I went straight to college. So in the midst of all the death, destruction and, po and poverty, hip hop was able to take positivity and use it as a force. The same way superheroes use it in the comic books. Now don't get me wrong, a lot of the music is good as what it is, but at the end of the day, what do the people, what are, what, what messages are we giving to the people when they leave the club? Right. See, that's what's missing. We was always able to talk about fun, yeah. but we also had messages and information. Right. We didn't, we, was, we wasn't finger pointers. We didn't say you was wrong for being in a gang. We didn't say you was wrong for selling drugs. We gave you alternatives. Right. And powerful, positive opportunities to do the same thing that drug dealing does without destroying your neighborhood, without destroying yourself, and without having you to make money by illegal means. So what advice would you give to someone who is maybe wanting to get started in hip-hop today? The first thing I would tell them is look at every, look at what everybody's doing and do something completely different. And secondly, everybody could rap. Can you make a song that's going to change the world? And not everybody can do that. Everybody can rap, but can you change the world? See, other rappers are just good rappers. But I am the king of rock. There is none higher. And that's because I believe in myself the way I believe in all of you. That was my uplifting speech for the day. You got me so pumped up. Maybe I'll go start rapping. But
up my two buddies, Eduardo Miranda Rodriguez, and my other buddy, Rich Morales, who are my two partners on a comic book. They said, T, with this comic book, you can do everything you've done with your music. And I was like, really? Positive messages, motivate, inspire people, and educate people, and also bring people together. With hip hop, there's not a generation gap, it's an information gap. The old G's like me should be kicking it with the young G's like you. And then we take our, all of our information, all of our potential, and we put it together. And I don't care if it's in music, I don't care if it's for the comic book, I don't care if it's what you do as a journalist. We take all those visuals, concepts, and ideas, and we share them with the rest of the world. Especially the younger ones, because the younger ones are watching us. So if we give them our power now, when they turn 15, 16, 17, and 18, they're already powerful individuals. We, like superheroes, must use our gift to make the universe a better place. Absolutely. Thank you so much for taking the time to talk to us. I feel so inspired. Thank you. And, hey, yo, what's up? This is me, DMC, in a place to be. And the only place for me to ever be is right here on the short show with the one and only Mary.